Welcome to Lettering Comics Part 1, Creating a Lettering Template. A very long time ago, I tracked down this website, letteringcomics.com, by Sean Gloomis and his personal website, gloomis.com. Sean has samples of his work on the website, along with detailed videos and notes on the subject of comics lettering that I put into my workflow. I continue to use these steps to this day and apply them to new programs that come out. Okay, for starters, I'll be using Illustrator and I will be creating my document size um, at 6.75 by 10.25 as you will not be lettering an 11 by 17 actual page size change your DPI to 300, not 600, not 1200. You want to be lettering at 300 DPI and make sure that your color setting is at CMYK for the output because, I mean, you can do RGB as well these days, but click OK. Then the next thing you'll be doing is creating your... Um, live area this would be six and a, six point two five by nine point seven five okay um, make make it so that the fill is empty and the border is set to like one pixel or a red color or a blue color whatever you like Okay, so I'm going to create the measurements on the page showing um, you know the sizes. I'm gonna save the file as whatever you, whatever you want to name it as. Um, these days I like to put in, uh, you know, like comic template something. And I'll tailor it to whatever comic I'm working on. So I'll put like uh, initials of my comic, then template or initials of my comic underscore page, then the page number, etc. Okay. I find that it's better to letter in vector-based programs than it is raster programs because of the scalability. Um, you get clean, crisp fonts, I mean text, um, with no, no issues of resolution. And so I'm I'm adding the the safe area measurement right here and I'll leave this in my file so that every time I open it up I'm reminded of the actual measurements one of the things I find um, uh, enjoyable about lettering digitally is that <clears throat> well not only is it is it uh, precise but it also saves you a ton of time versus lettering manually you know like you you can create yourself a font which is what I've done Okay, so now that I've got the document and the safe area on my page, uh, I am going to uh, adjust <coughs> the number to 6.75 by 10.25 for the document. And my safe area is 6.25 by 9.75. 
and I'm adjusting the color of my border. Thought I already did that. But either way, you end up with a good looking template that you can reuse. 